You are here! Very good! I was waiting for you! So, for today, we are going to finish off this bridge and I have been doing some off-camera work in order to prepare to make this bridge, like gathering a lot of resources and or I've been making a ton of blueprints in order to make this bridge look amazing. But before doing that, comments. The first comment is of Gambler Boys Official. That is actually mellow. He says, do you know that you can build a sliding bridge which can be placed low and you can open it whenever you need to cross with ships? And yes, this is me, mellow. Now I was mistaken thinking that this comment has been placed way long ago at the start of the series by him, but apparently it has been placed by Johas Lego, which is okay. I like to get remembered of things that I apparently forgot. I forgot you can do some very cool stuff with this bridge, but nonetheless, thank you for uh, reminding me because in season two, I would like to add this little trick to a new island where we're going to make a bridge that can be open and closed by using a vehicle. The second comment is of Christian. He says awesome stuff digging that you combine a little editing together with adventure in the video. Love the road and waiting patiently for the finished work. Rock on buddy. Thank you a lot for letting me know. I would like to do this more into the future. Just go to the editor, fix some stuff together on screen and then just add it to the adventure mode. I think it is really cool to do such a thing. And then I have a comment of Johas Lego, or with other words, Yo Hasendank. He says, nice work, man. Also, I didn't know you made some variations of your truck. Really cool. Yeah, I was busy with making different variations of the truck. I still need to finish it because, you know, I'm not ready with it, but I have a lot of ideas in mind, and there is a reason why I'm making different variations of the truck. More about that in a few couple of plenty of episodes, I will let you guys know. Right, so at this moment, I'm kind of staring at the middle point of the bridge. Now, it might look a little bit like an illusion, but if you look at the water, I'm kind of in the middle if you look at the middle of the bridge. The problem here is though that it kind of looks like it is not in the middle. That's because the hill goes very slow down while over here it's very, is that called steep? Very hilly? Let me just get some clear weather here. So maybe going like this makes it clear. You know that the middle of the bridge is in the middle of the waterway. But you can really see what I mean with very slow there and very fast there. The drop down to say of the mountain. Um, so I was thinking about moving it a few couple of blocks, but you know, maybe I should just do it since, you know, it is kind of aimed out with the water itself. Now here at the blueprints, as you can see, these were the first two segments I've been making. Then I've been making a few couple more of these things and something really, really, really big. Because in the editor, I was like, you know, the, the, the gap between where the poles are going to be, uh, the gap is so big that it would be more handier to make it look like it is supported also in the middle. So that's why I got a very big thing that we are going to place, if that makes any sense. Now for this part here though, I, I'm, I'm going to need to be very careful with placing stuff around. Uh, for this part here though, I, I am going to need to use a piece of road down here. I'm not sure if I need to remove this hill or that I'm going to need to keep it. I would like to keep it if possible. And then somewhere around here we go around the corner. But I just have to see. Right, first things first. I have made two segments that kind of look the same. It is three and four. The reason why one of these just has two extra things, which is this one. This one has two extra blocks at the side. The thing here is this bridge is very thin and it's not really realistic. And as you can see down here, I've been messing around with these blocks, trying to figure out if I can make something underneath it, right? Just something that is enough so I can just walk underneath it. The reason for that is we're going to make lights on top of each segment that has like this square block down here. And in order to, you know, make it myself easier to remember where these blocks are, I have made a segment with two blocks that will indicate where the, the, the power is going to go up to the light. So that's why I made this one. And then we have one without 
Okay, so the first one, and this is, I'm going to be very careful. So that is the middle one. There will be one near it. I, I actually been building this bridge in, um, in edit mode. So this one is going to go right down there. And as you can see, I've been gathering a ton of stones. I have also kept in mind that I'm going to need to have an entrance to, you know, underneath here. I will just show it to you once it is ready to show. <laughs> so yeah, um, last night I went gathering um, resources after I made all of these segments. I actually went to a new island or new map to say, and... I deleted all of the islands that I have been exploring before. That, those were just exploration islands. It was nothing too special. So I made this one. And I also decided that I'm going to need to finish it off before going to the next one. Now on this one, I do have a few underwater random encounters. I have actually one mythical creature. So before moving anywhere else, this one needs to be finished first. This is something I need to keep in mind for the future. All right, just... Well, let me say two more, and then I should also be able to just, you know, work from underneath rather than, you know, doing it like this. And I'm so, so happy that I got this propeller pack. It makes certain things so much more easier. So from this point of on, I can place this guy right down there. Fill in the blank. I'm going to have poles, really. Oh, well, the best thing is poles are made from sticks. All right, that should do it. And now, you know, when things are finished, I can make like a little pathway, um, yeah, going that way. And yeah, underneath here, I can place certain connectors and then have a whole power system right underneath here. All that's left to do now is just fill in the blank. Can you imagine if this game didn't have like an editor and you have to do, you know, build everything in here? I mean, building isn't too bad for like smaller things. But for huge projects like this, it is just super handy. Now you could also say like, why didn't I just build a whole ship in the editor and then maybe share it into two parts and then place it down. Now the thing here is this bridge is built out of segments, which means that if someday ever I'm going to, need to build another bridge, um, you know, for example, maybe uh, a smaller one. Which I don't have to use the uh, giant thing that I'm going to add at the end. Oh, God. And then I can just, you know, quickly build another bridge. And what I would like to do also, um, I'm going to spend some time optimizing all of the blueprint builds. And yeah, then put them online to say. So you guys can enjoy it too. So, and I must say, while I was exploring, I didn't find any new random encounters just yet. Yeah, but I believe I did find an underwater encounter, which might be new, because I seen like very different items floating underwater. I have not checked it out just yet. And I like the new biome, because I found some coal, and I found some sulfur rock, so I didn't have to go in the cave. I was afraid I had to do that but um, maybe i think what the developers have been doing is making these um ground mines to say what i had in this cave with the ore still in those caves and then like smaller rock deposits onto the land so it's not like impossible for a beginner to you know have a little bit of starting material but if you want to have a lot you need to get into the cave i think that is what they have been doing not quite sure though and i found a lot of truffles i was first thinking truffles could only be found while digging that makes any sense oh man i cannot get rid of this part down there maybe if i use a uh, mining drill very careful careful okay that's too much <laughs> oh i ruined it very good I will fix it up. Yes, okay, that will be the end of the bridge, the official end. It's still quite a lot, if you ask me, but we'll be fine. Alright, so now the bridge looks a lot thicker on this side. 
Um, I am going to need to do the same on the other side and or place uh, a piece of road. Alright, support, support, what I have in mind. Well, I got one thing right down here. I have one thing down here. That this guy is more of a decorative type of deal, or just to break off the blockiness. It's a kind of an archway type of deal. I'm not quite sure, it almost looks like it's missing a piece there. Yeah, it is missing a piece, you see that? Uh, I see why it didn't save up everything, because once you break the group, and uh, it and you make it into the blueprint, it will deselect everything that is underneath the ground. So that's why things went wrong. All right, very good. So here we have a segment which need to be placed. Let me see. I'm going to, to be very careful with what I'm doing right now. Um, so the middle one, two on both sides. And then I'm going to, to place this segment right underneath this guy. Like that. Let's give it another check. Yep, this should be fine. Now on the other side we have this extra edge. I think that extra edge really, you know, adds a little bit of extra decoration. So I'm just gonna keep that. And later on we'll do the other side. I hope I won't forget. one more here uh we have a bit of a gap now i could say let's place another one or or what you know i i i i i i'm just gonna place another one it is fine this this game has been optimized so much it can handle a few extra bits and pieces underneath the ground there we go, and it's not clipping anyway, all of these blocks are placed on grid, and that is the best thing you can do, rather than having pieces going through each other. Alright, then we have this piece, and this piece, you know, doesn't have all of the poles underneath, so you can uh, have a bit of an easy time making it look perfect without wasting too much stuff like I just did. Like I said, this is more, you know, to break up the, the corner here. I could have just made this part also go that way, but then that ship would have problem going underneath. And then all that is left is place these blocks. Now the color is different. That's because uh, the bridge has a bit of a color though. And that's why a paint gun is still handy to have. Beautiful, just to break it up for a bit. Oh, and there goes my game. Beautiful. How much you wanna bet I didn't place the whole tower underneath? <laughs> place your bets. Oh, uh, okay, so yeah. <laughs> didn't place anything underneath, that is, that is fine. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. Now the thing here is, this is not the only support I could, you know, maybe play around but i'm gonna get a bit of a problem doing the same with the other side what i mean with that is i could make another one of these segments turn it around and do also an archway on the other side then skip a few parts make another pole with an archway it's going to look nice here but over there it's not going to work out okay before officially placing that thing let's see one in the middle and one offside, segment, segment, okay, that's perfect, yeah. The thing I wanna do here is not going to work uh, on that side, it will. I think I'm just gonna close it all up. So yeah, now you get a very good idea of what I mean with, it looks like it is off center, but um, yeah, you can see it by yourself. The water, the middle of the bridge is kind of in the middle of the water. Maybe it's like two or three blocks off, but for most of the part, it's middle aimed out on the water rather than aimed out with the land. So I'm just gonna accept that one. All right, this one is basically the same as the ones I placed earlier, but then you know without a side part. This one's gonna go there. I'm not gonna worry about that tiny little gap down there. Just a uh, little mousy hole. This one is a little too big for a mousy hole. I don't want any raccoons living into this thing. 
all right that is also fixed and then there is one more piece that i'm going to need in order to just skip that little chains i would say this guy as you can see the blocks are looking different so i hope i uh, didn't do too much maybe i used different ones for that uh, i cannot see yeah okay i see what i did wrong i used the wrong uh, stones but it's okay keep that in mind for the other parts there mr Bo uh Bork, you really want to move or else you're gonna get stuck you don't want to get stuck get out of here get out out no no rotating around out have fun down there then and so ladies and gentlemen we filled out the whole bridge down here well at least you know so far look at that beautiful i like it even though you know those um archway half archway isn't like too much it just adds like a breakdown of the um the stuff that looks the same maybe for the future i need to create something like twice the size though and yeah, but for now that will do all right let me clean up this stuff now i have a very big blueprint which is this one bridge number 10 or piece number 10 uh this thing as you can see is quite large though so yeah i needed to have something to hold up the stuff so i made this you know with some strong ropes oh i thought for a second something was wrong over there so if i look at my screenshot i see that i'm going to need to remove something and this something is one besides the door so this is the door block and this is the one besides that where is sherlock yes indeed that one we're going to do the same over here over there over there and on the other side all right <laughs> let's see it needs to be rotated needs to be moved that way i love it so much that you can just hold your right mouse button and then just you know move the whole show to say but this thing needs to be on the road and then it's like location is too far okay, as you can see there it's a little off but once you place it it should be fine all right before we're going to yeah it is not okay because it is one off damn it so i was talking about the part that happened here it's kind of odd that it moved so far so instead of having it here and to move it here yeah okay now it's fine i'm not sure why it does that maybe because it's huge all right this is okay and check out all of the other parts this is okay so on purpose i connected it right down here and yes i could have added more detail like some rings that are gonna go in there and bolts and stuff uh, but on top i want to have lamps so i need to keep that in mind Ooh, okay i'm an idiot so this is <laughs> this is why you want to check stuff out before accepting such a big thing because i took the wrong bits and pieces there did i do the whole ship um bridge wrong no that is okay oh i made a mistake there you see that the door is supposed to be here and not there that's why i mistake with the little hole you know maybe it's not even a bad thing just for the beauty of the bridge itself to have that door closer to the to the to the hill rather than having to make a whole walking structure that way having to go around the pole all right you need 700 there you go boom and the whole bridge is going to be created beautiful and this is just you know indicators very handy to have that all right all freaking right so an easy fix for this glitch is just you know just 
place to say this and that and then it also looks like it's going around it i mean it doesn't even look too bad like this all right one more piece uh-huh definitely and fix that up all right beautiful the bridge is ready now of course there are a little bit of finishing touches to be done i'm going to need to do the light i'm going to need to do actually the maintenance uh pathway um that i i want to i want to keep up something for uh another episode like the finishing touch of this bridge this also gives you guys some time to actually you know bring in ideas if you have some maybe we can add some lights on top maybe uh, i still think about making something for this section down here to make it look uh, give it a more realistic type of feeling then i'll make sure in the editor i will fix something nice in order to um to bridge this off bridge this off um yeah maintenance part I will uh, fix the, the sides uh, off camera. Um, long story short, I think this is pretty amazing though. I, I really like these uh, towers on top with the cables. Give it a little more robust feeling. It's just perfect. Absolutely perfect. And then we can just build some statues out of the side. Maybe, uh, maybe one statue. Maybe a statue that is holding a lighthouse. That would be crazy though. Um, I just have to see because, you know, the, as you can see, the hills are quite different from each other. That statue would be perfect to break up the grey mountain over here. It's a little bit messy though. I just have to see. So if you have any ideas for this bridge, then you can let me know down below in the comment section. And then I will take care that we're going to have some more building fun in the next episode. I, I said in the last episode, oh, maybe build a car and roads and stuff. But sometimes I just don't realize how much work it's actually taking to build all of this stuff. But nonetheless, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you have a nice weekend. Currently, to have a screenshot from a very far distance.